Here are the signs your sin is blinding you. Hello everybody and I welcome you to the gospel with Ishmael. You know, it is common when your sin is blinding you. Oh my God, it is easy to miss it. Let me tell you, you can be studying the Bible day and night, reasoning, going across it, but you won't realize that you are sinning. And then you'll be getting out of the presence of God and knowing you. You think it's an accident or it's a deliberate when you see different pastors backsliding out of an obvious sin, whereas they don't, no matter how much you tell them they don't, let me tell you, a sin can blind you. Right now, you could be sinning and you feel like you are okay. You don't even bother to repent. Let me tell you, it's one thing to be in sin and you continuously repenting because you keep on making it. And yet, it's another thing not to even believe you are sinning. To, in fact, justify your sin. There are a lot of people as in the church, they die in their sins because they don't repent and they are not willing to and they don't see anything wrong. I have a perfect example even in the Bible. David with the sin of Bathsheba. Do you remember what happened, right? Is it Second Samuel chapter 11 or so and 12? You can go upwards there those chapters but the man to show you that he was blinded by sin the man first stole a man's of another man's wife slept with her he did not stop you you see where under normal circumstances if it was me in the shoes of david i would have done i would have known that hey what i did is a sin before god lord forgive me even if i made that mistake but i would have repented but let me tell you something. Let me show you something with David. He continued. Impregnant there. To the point where he saw that, you know what? I can't let go of this woman. Rather, I kill this man. You see, since they began to pile up. And even after killing the man. The man felt, went ahead. Ate food like, in, like ordinary. Up until God sent a prophet Nathan to go and confront him about it you have sinned and what that's when david finally said what i have sinned and you got to repent but had it not been for nathan he felt like everything was doing there was nothing wrong or else you would have heard that david would have repented a long time back and to show that sin can be blinding nathan gave an example of a parable explaining exactly what David had been doing to somebody. But David could easily point out a sin when it is done by someone else. But when it was being done by him, he did not see it as sin. And that's when Nathan said, so, so like with this example I was giving you, you are actually the one. I was like, oh, but all along was saying such a man must be killed. It's almost like how people judge you on a daily basis. They can look at you and they're like, oh, you're doing something. Oh, you're not supposed But they forget what they are doing themselves. Sin is so blinding. You see people backsliding today. It's not that it is not being preached. It is not that they're not reading the Bible and come across it. But some somehow a sin has a way of blinding you. That is Satan. So that you can continue or else you are to see the light. You are going to repent. Jesus gave an example it was like it was made so to be spoken in parables so that some they won't understand but to those that it's meant for they can understand it even in parables or else if it was made to be simple those that it's not meant for they were gonna see the truth and they were gonna repent so it's hidden so that you don't know it because if you repent you are bound to be forgiven it is as good as that so now, um, I have a question for you right now. Are you sure you're not blinded by sin? Are you living in sin for that matter? Forget about, oh, we are righteous through Christ. Yes, we are righteous through Christ. But being righteous through Christ does not mean it's one thing to be righteous through Christ. It's another thing to be committing a sin. For instance, you shoot someone and they die. Are you saying I'm righteous through Christ or you say I have sinned? You say I have sinned, but Lord, forgive me through the blood of the Lord Jesus, right? 
But then, you continuously shoot and kill people. What is that? Day by day, you are not stopping. You still go to church. You get what I'm saying? You are being toxic. You are ruining someone's marriage. You know that man is married. That woman is married. You are sleeping with her. But you're going to church. Lord, bless me. Oh, Lord, I love you. Oh, but on a daily basis, you have the confidence. You know that marriage has been blessed. So you see, the moment you dwell in sin and not willing to repent, you are being blinded. Therefore, meaning, if you are being blinded by sin, these are the signs that you look out for. You won't hear when they are preaching it. To you, you will always find a way to justify your sinful behavior. You will find excuses for your sinful behavior. And secondly, on top of that, you are going to add more. For instance, you know, even when it comes to people who end up being drunk or drinking, even when I was growing up, I would grow up with most friends who would not drink. Oh, no, I mean, I will never drink. No, 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 you know these things. But then, one of the things that I learned in the way is that, that's why they say, the Bible says, bad company corrupt good character. Do not go and move with the unyoked, those that you are unequally yoked. So here's the thing. You will be with people, you move with them. First of all, it starts with you staying or dwelling or hanging or chilling in taverns, in clubs. You see, up until you become comfortable, you are a Christian. You know what happens next? Come on, there's nothing wrong with just so long as I don't get drunk and you drink. You don't get drunk. Come on, it's not a sin, right? Next thing you get drunk, so long as you get drunk and you don't misbehave. You see how sins begin to pile up. They will make you do one thing when now you are okay. Now, next level of sin. Now, next level. Up until when you wake up, it is too late. Even Satan himself is just trying to hurt you. He makes sure that your eyes be opened at a time where you can no longer go back. Even if you want to do, it is too late. You are addicted. That's why there are things like rehab. You go to a rehab. It's hard. Please pray for me. Oh, it is too late. So when you are being blinded by sin, you will never hear anybody else, no matter how much they warn you. In fact, you will react. When they remind you of a sin, you will quickly run into, stop judging me. When you are being blinded by sin, it gets to that point. When people talk about it, it irritates you. When you are being blinded by sin, you always find excuses for what you are doing so that you can continue doing it. When you are being blinded by sin, God, sometimes he sends people to remind you or else yourself, it doesn't make sense. Hence, with David, he sent prophet Nathan. And fortunately, the man was able to hear. David was a prophet. David had the Holy Spirit by then. Remember when he was praying, do not take your Holy Spirit from me. But still, he needed somebody because he was already blind. He needed someone to remove whatever was blind, that blindfold. Once you can see someone reminding you of your wicked way or the wicked path that you are taking, it shows that God loves you and wants you to repent. And you are now blind. And then there are those that if you are not yet blinded, he can just convict you. Through the Holy Spirit and you realize, Lord, I have sinned, I repent, forgive me. And you see, mm, will go out being unnoticed in the public. So those are the signs to look out for. Don't dwell in something that is wrong. If you dwell, you will be comfortable and you will not think anything wrong. In fact, your conscience will die. You will feel like there is nothing wrong. You will even find excuses. that may, even You will try to even twist the, the scriptures so that it can suit your lifestyle. Whereas a sin is a sin. If you go to hell, you go to hell. No excuses. I pray for you. May God open up your eyes to see every sin that has blinded you. 
and you repent in Jesus' mighty name and by his faith, the precious blood of the Lamb, the Lord Jesus Christ, I pray. Amen. And of course, that's all I had. My details on the comment section below. See you next time.